So emerging young adults, intergenerational partnerships. Uh, easier said than done, right? <laughs> So I would suggest that there may be some opportunities for us to consider how can we overcome generational gaps, uh, how generations process different things, how one generation thinks about certain things, how one generation engages certain things, because there, there are differences that we have to uh, validate and we have to engage with. So. Uh, th three things to consider when you are engaging in these relationships, especially if you are an emerging young adult. Uh, Paul told Timothy uh, to not let anyone despise you because of your youth. And then he gives a contrast. Instead, by your example in, in, in speech and in purity, and he just gives this list of, of, of internal intangible character that reflects Christ. So it's, 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 it's our character, young adult. I would encourage the emerging young adults, clothe yourself with humility, and you can lead those older than you, not just with your words, but with your example. And I believe as you live a healthy life that follows Christ just with your life, God will begin to pave pathways where you can really begin to connect with the old. I think if we, if we serve faithfully, even though if we don't understand each other, serving one another has a way of bridging the gap, <laughs> especially like when we don't understand how each other thinks generationally. So young adult, be curious about the older generation. Ask questions. Ask about the moves of God that they seen. Ask them about how they experienced the Lord and their ups and downs and in-betweens in life. I believe the key is humble curiosity. Because if we clothe ourselves with humility, we can begin to close the gap of the differences and actually find ways to celebrate differences and see our commonalities, see the things that actually bring us together, like Jesus and the cross and the resurrection and, and the love we have for one another. For, to the older generation, I believe sometimes, and I, I'm, I'm learning this as an older 30-year-old, uh, as we get older, we can begin to sometimes look down on the younger generation behind, behind us because we think, oh, they don't get it, they don't understand, they're, they're, they're gonna miss God, you know? And we, we can have this sometimes negative outlook on those coming behind us because we just aren't curious ourselves. And, and so maybe when we get older, sustaining curiosity invites us to learn how to be flexible as we get older. <laughs> my my, my great-grandfather was a church planner and he had a saying when he would travel and preach and plant churches in Montgomery and Birmingham, Alabama. He said he would show up, stand up, speak up, sit down, shut up. <laughs> that was kind of his value system when he would travel. Now, as a millennial, uh, I would look at my great grandfather and say, well, it's, 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 it's a little bit more complex than that great granddaddy. And he kind of simplified his, his approach. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm more involved. I, I want to look at empathy. I, I want to look at our emotions, you know, emotional intelligence, be more, more self-aware of how God made me. Right. And, and those differences are there. So if, if my great grandfather was still alive today, he, he died at 105. But if he was still alive today, I would I would be curious and say, great granddaddy, what did you mean by, by, by show up, stand up? speak up, sit down, shut up. Can, can, can you help me understand that? And so I, I, would, I would encourage the older generation, sustain an attitude and a posture of humility by pursuing curiosity with those coming behind you. I know technology is tough. <laughs> I know the, 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 the world of millennials and Gen Z and Generation Alpha is, is so tech driven, it, it could seem that we're pulling away from community. But I promise you this, if we display curiosity, about one another and really see what makes us tick. We actually get to see God. We get to see God in a way that we didn't see just within ourselves, but we begin to open up our perspective and we begin to see Christ in other people that are younger than us and older than us. And if we pursue Christ in one another, we can learn, we can remain teachable, remain coachable, no matter what our age is. Paul said, all of you, Clothe yourselves with humility because God gives grace to the humble, but he resists the proud. So let's stay curious. Let's put aside our, our pridefulness in those subtle ways. And let's see what we can learn about each other. And more specifically, let's see what we can learn about each other in Christ.
Thank you for watching this video. We at Seedbed are sowing for a great awakening. We gather, connect, and resource the people of God. If you would like to join us on this journey, like and subscribe so you can get all the updates and videos. And also take a look at www.seedbed.com for more information on all of our resources.